guys. Swans away is here, back again. Not just for another video, but another signing. So honestly, today I've confirmed the signing of Chelsea youngster Mark Gaihi on an 18-month loan deal. An interesting loan deal, to say the least. Um, he'll be here until the summer of 2021 without a recall or Swans terminating his loan deal. Quite an interesting deal. He's a centre-half on the fringes of Chelsea's first-team squad, apparently. Um, a Chelsea fan said to me on Twitter, he's up there with the likes of uh, Tomori, who's obviously played for Derby and made a breakthrough. So for Mark, this will be an opportunity to do the same. Um, great to see him. He's uh, nicknamed the Beast, apparently, something like that. So he's a six-foot central defender, quite a big central defender, something we kind of lack in with Ben Wilmot, who's obviously going to go at the end of the season. He's won some trophies at his age, which is very good. He obviously won that Under-17s World Cup in 2017, obviously with Rian Booster and Steve Cooper, so you can see where the connections have come from there. He obviously he also came UEFA Under-17 Championships run-up in 2017 as well, so nearly uh, two trophies in one year, which would have been good for him. Like I said, he's six foot. Um, Mark he made his senior debut last year in a 7-1 Carabao Cup victory against Grimsby Town. And also he's been in an unused substitute in the UEFA Champions League tie against Valencia. So not bad for Mark Gee. He's got some experience already, especially being on the bench in Champions League. He might he probably a bit disappointed he didn't come on, but he must have been absolutely buzzing. Now, um he's obviously coming for game time when we're obviously gonna give him that. But obviously with him signing, uh obviously Ben Wilmot's gonna go in the summer, so you can count that. But is Mike Van Horn going to be off? It's quite interesting, really. Obviously, Mike's out of contract in the summer. And will the Swans accept some cash from him now? Or will we let him go for free in the summer? Or can we persuade him to get a new deal? For me, I don't think Mike will be staying in the summer. I think, well, I'd rather him go in the summer, to be honest, just to see out this promotion chance we've got. Um, if there is a chance for Mike to go, I hope he'll go in the summer, if anything. And hopefully he has that um, credit to Swansea for giving him a chance in the championship because we easily could have signed another centre-half and let Mike <coughs> rot away or go uh, go into the rotation like he was in the Prem. But we did give him a chance. Hopefully Mike can have the decency to stay on for a uh, until the end of the season. Yeah, Mark Gehe, like I've said in uh, the last bit, really looking forward to seeing him play. Um, obviously another youngster who will probably possibly be in the squad for, Chel uh, for the Cardiff game. Um, we're signing a lot of players so far. Two signings on the night before the ninth of January. Anyway, so why can't we do our business in the summer? Then I know January is a window where you can rectify your mistakes. But again, this is will be this will be our fifth loan sign there anyway. And I think you could sign a maximum of ten loan players, but only five can make the match day squad. So we've reached a five match day squad limit. So I really can't see anyone else coming in up unless we lose a midfielder or something. But I do really want a midfielder in this January transfer window. That's the main position I wanted, and we haven't got that or been linked with anyone's yet. I want a strong physical midfielder to help out with our physical aspect of the game, and we haven't been linked with one. But there's still time to be linked with us to be linked one to us anyway. But Overall, I'm very happy with the Mark Gehe signing. Will he be a starter? I'm not sure. Potentially, this could make Ben Cabango go out the team, maybe help him out a bit. Uh, or Joe, or, or obviously Joe Rowan will be back soon. But oh, on the outer looks of things, it could potentially be Mike Van Horn leaving. So make sure you leave your comments down below on what you think could potentially happen to Mark, Mike Van Horn. Bit of a Dutch accent there. And are you happy with the signing? Uh, before I end this video, make sure you hit the like button, comment and subscribe. Um, go check out all my playlists on my other videos. And obviously, if there's any breaking news with signings, I'll do a video straight away. So, very happy with the signing. Thank you all for the Chel Thank you to all the Chelsea fans who have responded to me on social media. Give me tips. Uh, Leo Thomas as well on Snapchat. Thanks to you, mate. He apparently, he's quite quick. Apparently, but I'm not too sure on that. Because someone said he's so low, so he's probably average. But like I said, make sure you hit the like button, comment, subscribe. And before, if unless there's any more signings, I'll see you for all the Cardiff videos on the weekend. And welcome to Swansea City, Mark Gehe. Make a good debut this weekend, son.